everyone, Matthew here, and today we're going to go over how to circular breathe. Yes, we are going to unlock the secrets to bring your ditch playing to the next level. So we're going to do this in three parts, and the first part, we're going to understand how the muscles and the structure work to do it. Number two, we're going to need some supplies, and that will be a drinking straw and a cup about halfway filled with water. So get these guys ready, put them to the side. And then number three, we're going to apply the technique to the ditch. So step one, we're going to fill our cheeks with air, and we're going to take a breath in and out of the nose at the same time. So let's fill the cheeks and take that breath. Right. So step two, we're going to squeeze the air out of the cheeks after we fill them, kind of like you're squirting water out of your mouth, like this. Perfect. So in that time, we're just using the cheeks. That leaves our lungs free to breathe through our nose. And that's the general basis of circular breathing. You fill the cheeks, and as you squeeze, you take a breath in. This takes a lot of coordination, and it can take a lot of time. It takes a little bit of time. It's all of where you're at in learning, and it's all for you. So now that we understand the mechanics of circular breathing, we can get our supplies of the drinking straw and the cup filled with water, and we'll get started. So here, we're just going to make a continuous stream through the cup, just like this. Nice and consistent. You don't want water blasting all over your screen, so good job. <laughs> and the idea of this is that it's a bit of a visual aid, because like what we did in step one, when we squeeze the cheeks and take the breath in, the bubbles are supposed to keep going, and it should look like this. And again, if you're doing it correctly, the bubbles will just keep going very smoothly and flowing. And if it looks like this, you're cutting off the circular breadth. So it might help to be able to see that instead of just, uh, am I getting it or not? The bubbles really work well for that. So finally, here we are at part three, and we'll apply it to the ditch. And just like in part two with the cup and the water, we're just filling the cheeks with air and then squeezing it out and taking that breath. So let's try a drone and take it very slow. so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like, subscribe, and the little bell icon. That'll let you know the next time I upload a video and we can start learning together again. Peace!